Howdy. I'm going to tell y'all a story about my hometown. Just shy of 4,000 folks live here. It's a small southern community tucked away in America's heartland. Time here moves slower than molasses on a cold biscuit in December. With nowhere to go and not much to do without driving a long ways, most folks aren't able to move away from here because they just can't afford it. Only time folks leave is when they pass away or when they disappear. My friend Milton owns the local general store and we've worked here together since we got back from the war. You can get most of your daily goods here as well as bait and tackle, but if you want anything more than that, you got to drive a good ways into the city of Memphis. About 10 years ago on any given afternoon, you could find the local fishermen and farmers gathered at the food counter, where they tell stories about big fish that got away and bountiful crops in days gone by. Milton's daddy passed the store down to him, and it's always been the what you call heart of the town. But for the last few years, there ain't been much of a pulse. Meet Zebo Newton. He's a quirky kind of guy with a big heart, living in a small town. He's worked a bunch of different jobs, but hadn't yet found his true calling in life. A lot of folks in town pick on him because he's so different. I mean, look at him. He does make an easy target. But that doesn't stop him from being one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. There are definitely some bullies in town that make life tough for old Zebo. Hey, Zebo! <laughs> oh, yeah? Well. Everybody pretty much knows everybody around here. But if you see the Hammerhead family, you best get out of their way. You see, they caused a whole mess of trouble for the last decade or so, terrorizing the town like a pack of wild hyenas. Seemed they could do whatever they wanted and nobody could stop them. From droughts to floods, this town has seen its share of tough times. But nothing was worse than the dark cloud known as the Hammerheads. Ah, Get your asses up and go feed him. All right, Bernadine. Rumors are the Hammerheads had been stockpiling money for years, and they kept it buried out there on their land. Ain't no telling what else is buried beneath the dirt on their property. The key to unlocking the mystery why the Hammerheads ruled this town had been right under everyone's noses all the time. But it would take an unlikely hero to reveal the dark secret hidden just beneath the surface. That summer, everyone's lives would be changed forever. <laughs>